Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful animation using PowerPoint. This animation will use hyperlinks to move between each slides and morph transition to animate the changes between them. So, let's get started. I have already added PNG icons and heading text fields and will make use of them as required. Let's first enable the guides and format the background with light grey color. Now create two vertical guides at 5 units and 2 units from center. Also create four new horizontal guides and place each of them at one unit of distance on either side as shown. We will place our PNG icons at these five intersecting points and each of these will animate to this new position. So let's duplicate first slide and on second slide, place all PNG icons to their new positions. On first slide, let's place all PNG icons at one common center position as shown. Also delete both text fields from first slide as we don't need them here. Now if we go to second slide and apply morph transition, we can see all PNG icons will smoothly animate to their new positions. But this will animate only when we transit from slide 1 to slide 2, so let's create a shape in first slide and then hyperlink it to second slide. Go to insert tab and draw circle over these icons holding down shift key. Make it no outline and fill it with dark grey color. Also let's quickly add text field over this shape and format it as per requirement. Now group these two shapes and assign a hyperlink to second slide to enable transition between both slides. If we go to insert tab and try to assign the hyperlink, we see these options are disabled. As a rule, in PowerPoint it is not possible to assign hyperlinks to group of shapes and that's the reason they will not be enabled. So to fix this, let's copy and paste this group of shapes as single image. Delete the original group and now if we check, hyperlink options will be enabled. Now let's hyperlink this image to second slide. Click on action and under mouse click tab, click on hyperlink option. Make sure next slide is listed at the bottom. Let's preview the animation and then click on image shape to animate all PNG icons. Next duplicate second slide and remember morph transition will be automatically carried forward. You can see a small star mark which indicates the assignment of transition. So, now to transit from second slide to third slide, let's add hyperlink to first PNG icon and assign it to third slide. So now this PNG icon will be clickable and will enable transition between second and third slides. Next go to third slide and move first PNG icon to new position as shown. Increase its size holding down control and shift keys and now we will add animations to this icon and text fields. Also let's draw trapezoid shape to beautify our slide. Adjust its shape using orange color edit point. Make it no outline and change its fill color. Move this shape at the back end of PNG icon and we will animate this shape as well. Let's apply float in animation to both text fields, set effects in opposite direction and start them with previous.
apply wipe animation to trapezoid shape, change its direction from top, and start it with previous. Next apply grow and shrink animation to PNG icon, and start it with previous. Reduce the duration to 0.25 seconds, and under effect options, set size to 110%. Again add grow and shrink animation to this PNG icon, and start it with previous. Reduce the duration to 0.25 seconds, and under effect options, set size to 90%. Next move all three entrance animations, between two grow and shrink animations, and set delay of 0.5 seconds for bottom animation. So now entrance animations will match with both grow and shrink animations. Let's quickly preview the animation once. We need to delete these text fields from second slide. Animation looks good. Now duplicate third slide. And on fourth slide, change the heading text field and fill color of trapezoid shape. Also change its wipe animation direction to bottom. Next move first PNG icon to its original position, and bring second icon to new position. Increase its size, and now we need to apply same set of grow and shrink animations. Since we already have these animations applied to first icon, just make use of animation painter, and apply them to second icon. Make sure to delete first icon animations, and change the positions of second icon animations. Also we need to set hyperlink to transit between 3rd and 4th slide, and obviously, this hyperlink must be assigned to 2nd icon on 3rd slide. Let's do it following the same steps. Let's preview the animation now. looks perfect. Next continue to duplicate 4th slide, and follow same steps to animate remaining slides. So we need to remember few important steps like, changing header text field, trapezoid fill color and animation direction, rearranging PNG icons in sequence, using animation painter to apply animations, deleting and rearranging the animation sequence, and finally setting the hyperlinks to enable the transitions. Let's speed up to save time. So here is the final preview.
Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.